Ooh. Happy. Today's Thursday, yes. Not a beautiful day. Man. I can't even comprehend my emotions right now. You know, it's uh, just everywhere. Uh, so, I've been working actually, you know, driving. Nice tree up here this morning. You know, and like I've been saying, this is going to be the best year ever. <laughs> yep, it's going to be the best year ever. Uh, this whole, whatever you would call this, you call it virus. It's just been amazing because um, it's like for me, this year, there's just something about those numbers, 2020. Yeah. So when I saw 2020, I started that whole, you know, spiritual thing early. So, it's almost like you have to really get hold of yourself. Another scenario coming up here, these trees, and you know, some of the grasses, you know. And uh, I think I'm six miles into this. I've got like seven more miles to go, so not a lot. You know, doing this 13 miles every single day. I actually managed to get in about 500 miles last month. <laughs> it would be nice to see if I could get up to 600 this month. <laughs> yeah, so it's a waterfall to my left hand side, you know. Uh, it's beautiful out here. And I'm just kind of just, you know, just tagging along and just really, you know, embracing what life has to offer, really. You know, and being grateful. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm on that route again, you know, because what I, what I actually do, I go, I do different routes, you know. So I have different places that I go to, you know, I don't have a specific in my marker. So it's just like, um, uh, I got up a little late early today too. I got up at two o'clock instead of about 1.30. Because you know, I have a two hour preparation, the meditation, yoga, and it's just, it's just been amazing to me. You know, so, and uh, this whole situation is one has to really force their mind to think positive. We cannot let our mind go because everything is going to be okay. You know, quiet out here again. You know, it's just quiet out here. Yeah. So this is all like an office building. You know, I'm going to have a little route through it. So I'm just, I just like that whole, you know, as you can see the light nature at its best it is a little chilly this morning not too cold but i had to put on a couple of dresses and the more i do this every day the more i realize wow this is like a journey for me because the this is the only thing that i've ever done in my whole entire life just just comes natural get up move on my feet <laughs> it just really blows me away completely blows me away and I think we all have that different gift. Yeah. So let us think positive. You know, let us show one another. And especially now because, you know, the days are getting longer and people can't go out. And frustration are easily kicked in. You know, this is the time that our family members that we want to spend time with, they started to frustrate us a little bit. And it's not really them. It's just the emotion of what's going on accumulating without one realizing it. You know, and especially if one is not in, you know, like be on the regular meditative section with oneself. It's, it's just, it's just difficult. Uh, so yeah, I hear this morning. 
<laughs> but it's easy. <laughs> to take my meditative jog. <laughs> you know, and just looking at life, really. You know, to my left right here. The street. Over here, just <laughs> standing still and looking on his own. And my mind is just a pill pure, clear, and huh, just being observed, observed, you know, just pay attention to what's around me, you know, whole parking lot here is empty, as you can see, the light shining, you know, and uh, I think I've done 90 days already of running, I'm very grateful for that. Of getting up every day and just meditating, running every single day. And you know, it keeps me grounded. You know, and I think this is the time that we, uh, to each individual, this is the time that we gotta get hold of how we think. You know, certain things we don't need to be watching on TV or social media. Anything that's going to make your mind sweat away, we don't need to be watching it. You know. And we cannot deny the fact of what's going on right now. You know, every day they said, you know, they said, you know, numbers goes up and don't let the fear cripple you. It is good to be observant of this situation, but do not let fear cripple you. This is the time for faith or whatever you want to call it to be stronger. You know, this is no joke. <laughs> yeah, this is the time for the inner self, inner being, the mind, the power of the mind to become stronger. This is, you know, this is not a norm situation where you could just pretend and go no, no. This is real. It's the, everything that's going on right now is like something out of a movie. <laughs> yeah, so this is really, really real. You know, none of that. You know, trying to no, this is not pretending matter and. It's almost like even the spiritual leaders, the leaders, they are almost running out of ideas. So, and this is where everyone needs to come together collectively, consciously, not based on your material world or where you live now. This is, this has nothing to do with that. You know, this is when one needs to tap into their true wealth and your true wealth is your health. You know, to have an understanding the meaning of all this whole situation, first, it has to start from oneself. And that only way to start from oneself is by being conscious of our truly health. You know, what made us? You know, you wanna, we want to make a change, we got to start by us. You know, and that us is by doing things that put oxygen into your brain. This is all about the chemicals. Human beings were chemically beings. And if you are not, you know, injecting certain, because uh, that's why the whole thing about breathing comes into play. If you're not breathing certain oxygen to your brain, or putting into your nose tree, you could fake it, but it just ain't gonna work. Yeah. And this age of information, look at the whole idea about breathing, the spiritual side of it, you know? breathing exercise that's where it comes from <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the storytelling of an emotion entity is okay but it has to come from the breathing side of things the eating you know that's where it all comes from that's how we tap into that energy and stay focused at this time this flower is getting my attention right here see even when i'm talking and i could easily just turn around and just look at that flower you know i'm still in that mile six you know it's color the way nature designed it everything about it just look at it and just embrace it you know the surrounding that i'm in right now that's all i'm doing just embracing it and being grateful for this moment so like I said, this is the time for us to be real positive. You know, what is your spiritual beliefs? What was you raised from, you know? How about 
put aside what you've been taught and learn something new. Because we are so afraid to step out of that box and learn what our mother, grandmother, great great grandmother taught us. Uh, what what does it what does it really mean? How about stepping away and learning something new? You know, this is the time to stay out of the box. And one thing we do all realize is this virus got everybody together all over the world. So for sure, <laughs> hey, maybe all this is about the world day and we. Should come to an end. <laughs> Let me go ahead and finish this easy, you know, 30 mile meditative jog. You know, it's like that voice I hear is like there's just something about being on my feet. It amazes me. It's like every time I'm out here, I am like a king, a millionaire. It's like it doesn't matter what goes on around me. All I have to do is step my foot on this ground and everything is okay. So I'm gonna check in, in a little bit. You know, and this is my surrounding again. You know, cars are coming out, but as you can see, the road is empty still. And I'm going to say, this is your quiet time, your meditation time. You know, because you can't just pray one day. Your meditation prayer has to be every single day. You know, you can't, we can't wait for things to happen. And we start praying. It has to be every day because, you know, every time we do that, we want a quick result and all it causes is frustration. So, till next time, poo, these cars are nasty. Let me focus a little bit and, you know, get into this dance of life. Almost at the seven mile marker. Got five more miles to go. Got to think about what to say. And I want to say one love. And I share peace be upon this whole universe. I share.